absolutely real. Absolutely. 100%. Of course it's real. Of course it's real. It's real. Really? I think so. Okanagan Lake is the largest of five interconnected freshwater fjord lakes in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. For decades, people claim to have seen a large serpent-like monster swimming in the lake. People claim it's nearly 50 feet in length, dark in color, and said to move at incredible speeds, coiling its body in vertical undulations like a large snake. You don't have to look very far on land. The word Ogopogo is everywhere throughout the summer destination. But the origin of any such creature is more complex. Stories about the spirit of the lake date back thousands of years to the indigenous peoples who inhabited the area. They named it a made-up nonsense name, Ogopogo, that has no meaning, no relevance anywhere. The name that we call that creature in the lake, in Hachait, means a sacred water being. So it's, it is sacred, it is something that's important, and really when I think about the appropriation or the misappropriation of, of things or a lack of understanding or a lack of willingness to learn the true meaning and the true the true work of that creature is it is the protector of the water. Council members in the city of Vernon reevaluated their position around the topic when they voted unanimously to transfer the Ogopogo copyright it has held for 65 years to the eight-member Okanagan Nation Alliance in 2021. As for the sightings of an actual creature in the lake, there are theories that it might be sea otters or simply a very large sturgeon. And I know a little bit about the history of sturgeon, how they travel, where they live. And uh, I've always thought to myself, hearing these stories, that could very well be a sturgeon. You know, it makes sense because that river leaves the Okanagan and flows all the way into the Columbia River. So I'm sure, you know, hundreds of years ago, sturgeon used that and traveled into Okanagan Lake. And just hearing people describe what they've seen, and most people have never seen a 500 to a thousand pound giant sturgeon. You never know, there could be a few in there that are one to 200, maybe 300 years old. People want to focus on the one that they deem to be Ogopogo here for the sake of commercialism and tourism. It's not to say that commercialism and other things are bad, if you will. All they gotta do is listen to the story.